Hey y'all, it's Lana Moore here. I'm back with another video. In this week's video, I decided to do the 10 year challenge, how hard did age hit you? So I thought I'd go ahead and do it on my channel instead of actually uploading it to my Instagram account because I kind of have a theme going with my photos. I'm like, I'm not trying to like mess up my theme. So um, to get started, let's just jump right into this challenge. I'm looking at the photos and as I'm talking about the photos, I'm gonna be uh, popping them here um, next to either my left or my right. I'm not sure yet when I edit. It depends on how big my circumference of my head allows. So um, yeah, we're gonna just jump right into this video. Lego. <laughs> All right, so starting off with 2009. Oh my gosh, y'all the struggle look at my edges like look at my hair like right now how it's like nice and slick I apparently I didn't know what even gel was at the time no sponsorship at all but apparently I didn't know what gel was or grease something cuz ooh, I mean my skin look good I could say that much my skin look flawless my skin look good that's a goodness but girl that's not your angle it's not your angle Okay, moving on to 2010. Oh my gosh. You know what? This picture's not as bad. It's not as bad. I, I picked a good one because y'all, I take so many pictures. It was honestly hard to narrow it down to literally this many that I'm going to show in this video. Like I literally had so many pictures. And I was like, wow, I take a lot of pictures. But yeah, this one doesn't look that bad. But you know, peep breezy in the background you see he above my head <laughs> hey breezy if he watches i doubt okay 2011 this is when i was starting to dip my foot into makeup a little bit um obviously comparing my makeup looking at me sitting here to this picture you can tell, you know, I didn't really know how to do my eyebrows. I did not do eyeliner a little bit though. My nose is pierced, you know. Um, but if you look close to the picture, you could tell that I was still trying to find my shade because down from here down, it's like five o'clock shadow. And then from here up, it's like highlight for days. It's like, I was still like getting samples from the mall at this point, trying to figure out how to match my shade because I really could not find the foundation. I don't know why I just didn't get Dermablend to begin with. Or like L'Oreal, you know, I don't know why I didn't go that route. But eventually I figured it out. <laughs> okay, let's move on to 2012. Can we have a moment of silence? Tell, based on the way I am looking at this picture, and y'all see it too, what's wrong like what's what's going on girl like what, what what's what's going on like my eyebrows struggle brows Whew. I, I have I'm lost for words like oh my gosh like this is the phase where I just put pink lipstick with everything like seriously put pink lipstick with everything like any look I had on if I had on blue eyeshadow I put pink lipstick with it purple pink lipstick like this was my nude before I discovered <laughs> nude <laughs> lipstick but yes oh my gosh y'all and then look at my wig it's not even blended I had a wig on and you can tell it's fake at least now when I do my hair you know people ask me if it's mine you know like oh my gosh I love your hair they don't question it then they were like yeah her hair's fake <laughs> oh my gosh let's move on Jesus, fix it now. Oh my gosh. Y'all see 2013. Look, y'all y'all looking. Because we looking together. God, can we please give her some deliverance for her eyebrows? Like, her eyebrows, just my brows alone. I'm just like, it makes me cringe. I think, see, I'm looking at myself right now. And I think because I know my work 
ethic now when it comes to my eyebrows. Just seeing how I used to do them, I'm like, it makes me cringe because I'm like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Like, why is the front dark? Like, why? And I still got that five o'clock shadow right here. Like, you can't, you can't even tell. Like, my shade is just all, just all bad. And mind you, I went out in public like this posted on the public internet like it's okay it's okay 2014 oh my gosh I kind of got a little excited for 2014 because 2014 is actually the year I started this channel and if you can tell from the photo you see that the at handle says at the fashion makeup chick um around this time um I call myself the fashion makeup chick so if you go back to like previous videos you'll see that in my little outro that'll say the fashion maker chick that's not my handle anymore the handle that you see at the end of the video is obviously the one you should go to so don't search at the fashion makeup chick however if you do google this i do notice i come up because of that being my name at first moving on <gasps> oh my gosh you can tell i'm like really excited this one was 2015. This is the concert I went to and I actually filmed a video of this makeup look that you guys are seeing that I have on. Y'all, 2015 for me was the year of, year of blending. Like I figured out how, I learned how to blend. My hair looked right. I blended my hair right. My eyebrows look right. The concealer, you know, the makeup, just everything looks great. From 2014 to 2015, I actually made an improvement in my makeup, y'all. It was no more struggle. Like, <laughs> it was no more struggling right there. And also, I'm going to link that video in the cards above because literally that was my favorite video of myself that I filmed. I don't know why it was, but it just was one of my favorites. I watched it a lot of times myself and then obviously other people watched it as well. So other people enjoyed it too. So, yeah no plug no handle <laughs> all right moving on to 2016. i have nothing to say about 2016 because you know i was it was it wasn't that bad in 2016 so we good we don't have to you know react that much to this one 2017 oh my gosh i have to zoom in on my end but y'all y'all obviously it's not gonna be zoomed on yours this is the time this is when i first like bought derma blend Cause this is when I was like rediscovering, I was like, I need to get back to my roots. Why don't I just use Dermablend? It's what I like used, you know, my mom bought Dermablend for me when I was a child. Cause that was when my vitiligo was bigger. Hi mom. <laughs> and that was when, um, she wanted to make my pictures look nice for picture day. And I, w I forgot how well that makeup blended until I, one day, I think one day I was actually looking at old pictures and I was like, why don't I just buy the makeup that I used to wear as a child? Well, I didn't wait. She didn't put it on me often, but she just put it on me that one time, like maybe one or two times because, you know, she didn't believe in that, putting makeup on little kids like that. But um, yeah, I, that was around the time I first purchased Dermablend. And y'all see how beautiful that makeup looks? Hashtag Dermablend sponsor me. Just saying. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, 2018. I see you, girl. I see you. I see you, okay. So 2018, we were on our grown woman stuff, you know, got the girls out. This was actually my birthday um, weekend, the night I turned up, y'all. If y'all want a story time of this night, of this photo, leave it in the comments below. Y'all, that night, I got lit. Like, lit. Like, I still, I think, have, like, Snapchats of the night to where I can put up a whole story time of the night I got drunk. So if y'all want to see a video about that, leave it down in the comments below. I'm just saying. But 2018, girl, we, I have nothing bad to say. Yes, girl. 2019, this was actually one of my first photos I took in 2019 around the, around the, like maybe this was probably like a week ago that I took this one and oh my gosh, so sophisticated. It's sophisticated looking. If you watch Dream Girls, you know what part that was. <laughs> but yeah, oh my gosh. 
I have nothing bad to say. Maybe the first like, you know, 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, those are probably the first five years was probably my struggle years when it came to my beauty, you know, with makeup. <laughs> but overall, I was still cute. I wasn't that bad looking, you know. It was that cringeful to watch, wasn't it? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of going down memory lane with me, seeing my photos of my 10 year challenge, you know, seeing the glow up, you know, seeing how hard I age and apparently I still, I didn't age that much. <laughs> but um, I want to see your guys' photos. So if you post them on Instagram or post them on Facebook, well, mostly Instagram, because that's what I'm mostly on. If you did one yourself and posted on Instagram, be sure to tag me. I want to see your little 10 year challenge and I will be looking forward to it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Toodles.